Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Hello Baby episode 15 and 16. Due to Webster's new policy, I do have to uh, blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who's interested in my early access to all my content for the month of July and soon August, uh, it is available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. And yes, that means you will have access to Hello Baby, uh, Down to Earth, My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, and many other ones I have on my list for the month of July. If that's something up your alley, it is available uh, there. I will drop the link in the description box below. And I do have my free trial for seven days for my tier two and tier three subscriptions. So definitely check it out. Let's go ahead and get started. Since we agreed to do this, why don't we start by trying to see each other at least twice a week? Twice a week? I've only got a limited amount of time to prove myself to you, so we should adjust our schedules accordingly. Plus, in order for me to spend time with Leon, you have to be there too, per our agreement. What do you think, Your Honor? Yeah. See? He, he agrees. That's just baby babbling. Right, Leon? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, Leon. <laughs> For some reason, I'm more worried about those two now more than I was before. Ding dong. Uh. Oh, looks like Gareth's finished setting it up. I've only got Leon uh, a baby car seat. Ta-da! Huh? We were only able to take him somewhere nearby last time, but I want to be able to buy more stuff for Leon. But don't worry about the bill or anything. I want to get him stuff as his father. Aren't you supposed to be really bu a busy person? Uh-uh. I won't let this opportunity pass or you might change your mind. <laughs> Are you joining us, Nana? No, I, I won't impose on your family bonding time. You three enjoy yourself. I'll go and change Leon's clothes. Us three again? I guess it was a bit fun last time. Good morning, Miss Gwen. Doom. Uh-oh. I brought Sir Leon's new baby carriage. Oh, Gareth. What's with the sir? He's only a baby. Huh? Where's Arth? I mean, Mr. Morante. I swear he's here moments ago. He went to install the car seat by himself, saying he learned it from WooTube. Is it going to be safe? Don't worry, ma'am. I will inspect it again before you leave. He was so excited that last night he asked my help. That thing you put in cars for babies. Uh-uh in getting a baby carrier in Sir Leon's size. Gareth's been helping since day one. He helped me move in, but I think this is the first time. We've actually said more than two words to each other. Huh. <laughs> it's been so long since I've last seen Sir Arthur's looking this happy. Huh? Nana also mentioned the same thing. Hello, baby. Episode 15. Sorry for the wait. Uh? You good? Here, let me take him to his seat. He looks safe in there, but I can't help but feel skeptical. This is going to be our first tri actual trip together, huh? I guess so. Don't forget the seatbelt. Thanks. <laughs> that mischievous smile of his is dangerous. I wanted to buy some things for Leon in the house. But aren't you aren't the new carriers enough? Of course not. He needs some more clothes. Welcome back, Mr. Morante. Manager. We're looking for some baby clothes. At his age, he's too he's 
too growing rapidly. It will be a waste of the, at this point. Nah, come on. Don't worry, ma'am. We have some great selections for his age. Hmm. Go on, let him try it out. Excuse me, we'll take... Huh? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, kids that wear expensive clothing is not for me. Because <laughs> I know babies do grow really fast and it is a waste of money. So for me, I would not spend a lot of money on clothes. That's just me. I'm just very frugal in that area. Oh, my baby's the cutest in the world. <laughs> Don't you want to try something? Uh, no, no, I'm good. She always looks uncomfortable whenever I even offer. What can I do to make her accept something? In the past, any woman I met would be more than happy to be showered with gifts. Jewelry, clothes, makeup. But for her, it's not working. Hmm. I'm not really great at expressing my intentions aside from gift giving. If material gifts don't work, teach me, teacher Percy. There's one thing most women love, and that is... Hey, after this, you want to try out that famous sweets shop close by? Sweets? I mean, if that's where you want to go. Then after I check out, we'll go. But if you see something you want, tell me right away. Uh, sorry. Uh, so do you have any suggestions for a dress that might suit her? Of course, sir. But I think it would be better if you choose one for her yourself. Uh, manager, do you really think she would appreciate it if I choose one for her? Of course, sir. People think most women are complicated, but it's really the opposite. All they want is to feel loved and appreciated, and not as an afterthought. If you keep that in mind, I'm positive your feelings will reach her. It would be nice if you buy lots from our shop. Uh-uh. I want her to. Fall for me too, even just a little, during this date. To be continued. Their second date just started. Oh, the potato. I tell them to have the clothes delivered to your address. I see. Are you sure you're only getting that one? Yes, I can't really eat a lot of it. I'm still nursing Leon, so I need to be careful about what I eat. Ah, right. Um... But having this as a treat every now and then shouldn't be so bad. <laughs> Is this what they call postpartum? I'm wondering what she must have gone through the past year. I still have so much to learn. We'll just consider this a cheat day. Here, eat more. Uh, I can feed my s Oh! <laughs> Her face. I want you... To share more of your thoughts with me. Or at least more about yourself. Like how you talked just now about nursing Leon. Anything you feel comfortable telling me, I want to know. Huh? This is what these trips are all about, after all. Aside from taking Leon out to new places. I understood. I'll do my best. She's being cooperative. Is this finally it? <laughs> What's wrong? You're so close. Or not. Hello, baby. Episode 16. Wanna go somewhere else before we go home? I can't think of anywhere to go. Ah! Huh? Leon's awake again. Oh, it's Jolly Bear. Want to say hi to him? Uh, hey. Hello. Oh. I'll take a photo. Really? Please do. Three, two, one.
Oh. She's blushing. Well, how did it turn out? Uh, it's a jolly bear. Hey, Flora, get back here. Don't wanna. Arthur? Yo, Percy. Papa's friends? Hi, my name's uh, Fiola. It's my birthday party today, so I'm four years old. My, aren't you friendly? Why wasn't I invited to your daughter's party? So cute. It's just her mother and myself celebrating with her today. And that must be... Sorry, I ended up telling him about Leon, but don't worry. We should be able to trust him more or less. More or less? I'm hurt! Of course you can trust me! There you are. Huh? If it isn't Arthur. Uh, this is my wife, Bianca. <laughs> Ex-wife. Nice to meet you. She is Gwen, my partner. Oh. And our son, Leon. What? Stop talking nonsense to other people. Oh, come on. It's true, right? Since we met you here anyway, why don't you join us? Uh. No, I think Fiora's birthday party should be celebrated amongst yourself. Some family time, family quality time. I agree. <laughs> I think you're both right. Did he notice it too? We'll see you two again. Bye bye Who's that woman with Arthur? Long story short, he met her on that cruise we went on. Didn't expect him to bump into them. Uh-huh. I'm sure Arthur wasn't the only one to find a woman that night. What? I, d I didn't do anything like that he did. Huh. I know the expression of yours when you're lying, Percival. Mama, Papa! You aren't allowed to fight today. It's my party and you promised. Uh, sorry, Princess. We're not fighting. I'm surprised you were so observant just now. He's an expert at romance until it's, it's his own. They're co-parenting right now. Fiara stays with her mom most of the time, though. So it, it's good to see it can work out, just in case our own situation comes to worse. I want... Leon to grow up with a family that's together. And that's the hard part because like for my own life, my mom did that. Like she wanted to have a family because she grew up with a broken family and so did my dad. But like she tried so hard to hold that together for us, but it wasn't worth it. If this couple works out, like that's amazing. That means the father is putting in effort. He's faithful. He's honest. He's He loves his children. He wants to be there for his children and his spouse. So I pray that it works out for them. But I just know if your mom or if I were to be in a crappy relationship with and I have children, I would not stay. I would like leave. There's no way. I, I told my mom that. I was like, I'm glad you ended up leaving and not staying with someone who didn't really value you and your children, you know? Even though my dad is my blood dad, but you know, you pick your battles. The thought of Leon growing up in a situation similar to my own, growing up with a cold, broken family is... Then hurry up and fall in love with me already. Love? Can I fall in love with this man again? Uh, right. Now the Now's the perfect time for a family photo, don't you think? Here, you hold a Leon. I'm afraid. Three, two... One, afraid of falling deeper than the first time. But I will take the chance for my baby. For our baby. Purple hair, is that his sister? To be continued. Smash! Wait, smash! Hey, look, smash can be mean be meaning a lot of different different things. So this potato better not mean smash as in, as in making love. Anyways, 
Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, checking in. If you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!